Hello, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed night. Ah, oh, hallelujah. I'll tell you, you guys, um, and I'm going to keep you in the know because, first of all, I'm not one of them. Um, I stay in the tune with God. And point blank in the story. Let's get to it. California, um, the PG&E power shut off. Well, what I did is I was... Um, I don't know, been so busy, but God said you need to call in California. Now, most of you know that I stayed there almost 15 years, so that's always going to be my second home, um, Los Angeles and Sacramento. Long story short, I called some of my friends. Let's all, I want y'all to listen to what's going on, first of all, and then I'm going to tell y'all what they say what's going on. Y'all better pray. If you don't see what's happening, my God, my God, hold on. I don't see the purpose of it. I, I really don't. I don't want to sit in five days in a house trying to figure things to do in the dark. It's not fun. You know, power's been off since 1230 last night. Um, we've got 60 pounds of ice. They've created these conditions. It was unnecessary. Uh, now it's time for them to do the right thing. Millions of people in the dark for a second day. People are peeved. PG&E has cut the power to more than 630,000 customers. Let's check the outage map. Every purple dot, a community without power. But we're learning 50,000 customers in the Foothill area have had their power uh, cut. And many of the people have been in the dark since midnight Wednesday. Yeah, it's a long time. PG&E is doing this in some pretty dangerous fire weather. There's a lot of wind, there's no humidity, and that means fires can start and then spread really quickly. So this morning, we're asking you, are these public safety power shutoffs helpful or harmful? You can vote now on the ABC10 app or go to abc10.com slash vote. Let us know what people are, what you are thinking. Yeah. A lot of people are upset. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, we're covering this story from every angle. We have been since the power was started to be shut off. Uh, thousands of people are in the dark. We have reporters everywhere. Uh, Hank Cavanero is in standby in Placerville with some very unhappy people. Britt Moore is tracking the high winds in Vacaville. Let's get to Brooke right now. Hey, Brittany. Hey, uh, conditions are pretty bad here in Vacaville. We know uh, the Vacaville Fire Protection District fought an early morning vegetation fire here right behind me. Uh, it is out now, so crews have cleared that scene. But of course, the, the high winds, the dry weather, that was definitely a problem for them. So they had to bring in additional resources to help them fight that fire. I want to show you what the scene looked like early this morning. It happened off of Sunnybrook Lane. Deputy Fire Chief Doug Rogers tells me one acre of land burned in this fire. There were some wood piles and brush around a home. Thankfully, that home uh, was not damaged in this fire. Listen to what he has to say as it relates to just the amount of resource and resources and effort it takes to fight a fire during these uh, tough conditions. We call more resources quicker because, as you can tell, we can barely stand up out here. So if, if we do get a fire established, it's really going to take off on us. Yeah, thankfully... Thankfully, those conditions um, were expecting to improve, but the night has been so far quiet for them. But you can hear that wind. It's really, it's here. Doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. It's been this way for several hours, but thankfully, uh, that fire here off of Sunnybrook Lane didn't turn into something much larger. Guys. Britt, thank you very much for that update. Uh, obviously, conditions out there actually dangerous with winds blowing you got to watch out for tree branches let's check in with rob now well how the winds that Brittany is in are going to play okay basically you guys what's happening is that pg and e and it's so crazy because i actually have a friend that she's a supervisor there so i got all the scoop about everything that's happening and my heart is hurting so i pray that you actually pray for everybody so here's what's happening on the back side that not they're not talking about so i just got off the phone with a good friend she said deanna they are shooting at the pg and e people y'all don't understand they shooting at the trucks they're shooting at them people are mad it's like a riot in the streets they throwing eggs they, they didn't went to the office y'all they didn't went to the office and a lot of people are throwing eggs at the office do y'all understand what's happening in california right now um, and this is a voluntary shut off. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. So, and they don't know how long. And, oh, man. You guys, I'm not trying to put y'all in fear. I'm trying to tell y'all something. This is all propaganda. This is a test run. Y'all know what time it is. 
I keep tell I've been saying this for years. It doesn't matter who believe. Just keep on watching. And remember, I was one of the first ones not trying to take glory. I'm trying to tell y'all that that's been my whole ministry trying to warn y'all. Y'all better get y'all some canned goods. You better get you some flashlights with batteries. Y'all better get ready. And I'm, I don't know when. God has never told me when. He just been telling me, sound the alarm. You guys better pay attention. That's all I'm saying. Pay attention. Pray for people. And like I told her, and, and I'm very serious, I warned her, you know, because um, she's, she's more on the glamorous side. And I told her, I said, just do me a favor. No matter what happens, don't take that chip and don't get scared. And that's just what I'm telling y'all. No matter what happens, don't you get scared. Don't you dare get scared at the end. Because you see, one thing I've noticed about them, they love to talk all kind of stuff and they love to pretend. But when this stuff come for real, you're going to have to be strong in the Lord and you're going to have to know your God because ain't nobody, you don't hear me, this stuff coming, this stuff coming. I'm not kidding. So God bless you. God keep you. And I'm just saying, pray, pray and pray some more people. Y'all don't understand what they doing. They trying to incite us with fear, put us so much fear that we don't have faith. Remember, God is still in control no matter what he allows. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Pray for California. Pray for California. Shoot, y'all better pray for everybody. Pray for yourselves. Pray for strength. All right, God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lots of soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. Yeah, that's right, Jeremy. Jeremiah, uh, martial law. These people, These I keep telling y'all that's what's getting ready to happen. This is what they need. They need that gun law to drop. They need to take our guns. Once they take the guns, martial law coming. And then that's when, you know what? It's sad. People are only going to believe when they see it. And that's what's sad. That's the only thing that saddens in my heart. Because I know God is coming. Jesus is coming. But people just don't want to. Everybody after money and stuff like that. Man, you better be spending time with your family. Preparing your family. Even if they don't listen to you. You better say what God says to say. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Rule our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. That's right, Maxwell Sims. I'm trying to get off, but y'all, y'all making it, y'all, y'all making it good. Purpose of the test run is to see how people will respond. And I told you what, what she said. My friend said they shooting at the um, PG, C, PG and E workers. They egg in the um, building, and it's not funny. They, you understand? Cause somebody could really get hurt. And and how we know somebody haven't gotten shot. And the police going crazy because they don't know what to do, you know, because people are running. It's dark. How can you find somebody in the dark? You understand what's happening out there? So y'all pray for people, man. This is not funny. God bless you. God keep you. Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real Life Soldiers.